Nautical time refers to the systems used by ships on high seas to express their local time. Nautical time keeping dates back to the early 20th century as a standard way to keep time at sea, although it largely only applied to military fleets pre-World War II. This timekeeping method is only used for radio communications and to account for slight inaccuracies that using Greenwich Standard Time GST may lead to during navigation of the high seas. Nautical time zones are split into one-hour intervals for every 15-degree change in a ship's longitudinal coordinate. This is typically only used for trans-oceanic travel, as captains will often not change the timekeeping for short distances such as channels or inland seas. History of nautical time Establishment <inaudible> 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 The establishment of nautical standard times, nautical standard time zones and the nautical date line were recommended by the Anglo-French Conference on Time Keeping at Sea in 1917. The conference recommended that the standard apply to all ships, both military and civilian. These zones were adopted by all major fleets between 1920 and 1925 but not by many independent merchant ships until World War II. Topic. Letter suffixes Around 1950, a letter suffix was added to the zone description, assigning Z to the zero zone, and AM except J to the east and NY to the west. J may be assigned to local time in non-nautical applications. Zones M and Y have the same clock time but differ by 24 hours, a full day. These can be vocalized using the NATO phonetic alphabet which pronounces the letter Z as Zulu, leading to the use of the term Zulu time for Greenwich Mean Time, or UT1 from January 1, 1972 onward. Zone Z runs from 7 degrees 30 W to 7 degrees 30 E longitude, while Zone A runs from 7 degrees 30 E to 22 degrees 30 E longitude, etc. These nautical letters have been added to some time zone maps, like the World Time Zone Map published by Her Majesty's Nautical Almanac Office now, which extended the letters by adding an asterisk, asterisk a dagger, or a dot for areas that do not use a nautical time zone areas that have a half-hour or quarter-hour offset, and areas that have an offset greater than 12 hours, and a section sign section for areas that do not have a legal standard time the Greenland Ice Sheet and Antarctica. The United Kingdom specifies UTC-3 for the claimed British Antarctic Territory. In maritime usage, GMT retains its historical meaning of UT1, the mean solar time at Greenwich. UTC, atomic time at Greenwich, is too inaccurate, differing by as much as 0.9 seconds from UT1, creating an error of one quarter of a minute of longitude at all latitudes and which is one quarter nautical mile 0.46 kilometers, 0.29 miles at the equator but less at higher latitudes, varying roughly by the cosine of the latitude. However, DUT can be added to UTC to correct it to within 50 milliseconds of UT1, reducing the error to only 20 meters 66 feet. Topic: <laughs> Modern application. In practice, nautical times are used only for radio communication, etc. Aboard the ship, e.g. for scheduling work and meal times, the ship may use a suitable time of its own choosing. The captain is permitted to change his or her clocks at a chosen time following the ship's entry into another time zone, typically at midnight. Ships on long-distance passages change time zone on board in this fashion. On short passages the captain may not adjust clocks at all, even if they pass through different time zones, for example between the UK and continental Europe. Passenger ships often use both nautical and onboard time zones on signs. When referring to time tables and when communicating with land, the land time zone must be employed. Usage The nautical time zone system is an ideal form of the terrestrial time zone system for use on high seas. Under the system time changes are required for changes of longitude in one-hour steps. The one-hour step corresponds to a time zone width of 15 degrees longitude. 
The 15 degrees gore that is offset from GMT or UT1 not UTC by 12 hours is bisected by the nautical date line into two 7 degrees 30 gores that differ from GMT by plus or minus 12 hours. A nautical date line is implied but not explicitly drawn on time zone maps. It follows the 180th meridian except where it is interrupted by territorial waters adjacent to land, forming gaps. It is a pole to pole dashed line. Time on a ship's clocks and in a ship's log had to be stated along with a zone description, which was the number of hours to be added to zone time to obtain GMT, hence zero in the Greenwich time zone, with negative numbers from minus 1 to minus 12 for time zones to the east and positive numbers from plus 1 to plus 1 2 to the west hours, minutes, and seconds for nations without an hourly offset. These signs are different from those given in the list of UTC time offsets because ships must obtain GMT from zone time, not zone time from GMT. Nautical day Up to late 1805 the Royal Navy used three days, nautical, civil or natural, and astronomical. A nautical day entered in a ship's log as 10 July, for example, in fact commenced at noon on 9 July civil reckoning, p.m. therefore coming before a.m. The astronomical day of the 10th of July on the other hand commenced at noon of the 10th of July civil reckoning and ended at noon on the 11th of July The astronomical day was brought into use following the introduction of the nautical almanac in 1767 and the British Admiralty issued an order ending the use of the nautical day on the 11th of October 1805 The US did not follow suit until 1848 while many foreign vessels carried on using it until the 1880s Prior to 1920, all ships kept solar time on the high seas by setting their clocks at night or at the morning sight so that, given the ship's speed and direction, it would be 12 o'clock when the sun crossed the ship's meridian. The local apparent noon is 12 noon. <laughs> 